Okay, still here at Weatherby for the Castleford Handicap Chase, a two-miler, a 0 to 140, so number one is Kingdom of Animals, two is Madison Page, three, Bay of Skulls, four, Emma Jane, five, Van Starters, six, Zover Strikes, seven, Deep Red Eyes, eight, Black Widow, nine, Quebec City, ten, Jackie Roo, eleven, The Mighty Stu Grey, twelve, Gilda, thirteen, Arnu, fourteen, Hogmanay, fifteen, Sea Fever, Mill on the Floss is sixteen, Best Philip Town, seventeen, Nocho, eighteen, Run for Your Lives, nineteen, twenty, a Pink Day, 21 Worthy Miss, 22 VV Tamima, and 23 Loud Prince, 23 of them here at Weatherby. There's some tight old bends, so you don't want to be wide. Starter's got them away. Straight into this turn. As you can see, a few of them are getting pushed further and further back. And Best Philip Town's the unluckiest of them all. But up front, it's a Pink Day and Jackie Roo and Arnu. These three are leading. A couple of lengths of the rest of the pack as they uh, all try and settle down and jockey for position. They wait for them to approach the first. Over two miles, they've gone quite quick. They're into the first. Everybody gets over that. No, we've lost one. Hogman each shipped his jockey there. Bad luck for an ex-cherry. Won't be getting you double in this race. First and second in the last. Well done. But this is a pink down a Jackie Roo that uh, are leading into the third. Everybody gets over that this time. But it's pink down Jackie Roo together, leading by a couple of lengths to Arnu in third. They're over the next, the fourth. They all come thick and fast, these uh, hurdles here. So it's Pink Day, Jackie Roo, Arnu. These are one, two, and three. Then we've got Van Starters in the pink and Deep Red Eyes in the outside. And we've got Bay of Skulls, the Mighty Stu Grey, Emma Jane, Madison Page, the Grey, followed through by Sea Fever. Then Loud Prince, Run for Your Wives, against the fence. The outside of that, behind that, sorry, is Middle and the Floss and Nocho. Then we've got Quebec City, Worthy Miss, Zover Strikes, Gilda, Best Phillips Town, Kingdom of Owls, and Black Widow all went wider than the first bend and have got a lot to do. But up front is Jackie. Jackie Roo that leads them now from a pink down second. Then Arnu, deep red eyes there, one, two, three, and four. They approach the fifth. Oh, and Jackie Roo went through the top of that and has uh, got himself a little bit demoted and allowed pink day to take it up and approach the six. They're over that. Everybody jumps it well, but it's a pink day that leads on his own now by about three to four. Jackie Roo fighting to challenge again. They go into the seventh. Everybody's over that. Pink Day was slow and has allowed Jackie Roo and Arnu to come and challenge for first. They approach the eighth. Everybody no, we've lost one there. Quebec City's a fall up, but up front is still Pink Day, but here comes Mighty Stu Grey on the outside. Further wide now is Lau Prince, who had gone wide at the beginning and has done fantastic, but it's a Pink Day from Jackie Roo on the inside. Lau Prince, Mighty Stu Grey, Sea Fever. They're all still in with the chance here. Arnu, Bay of Skulls, Deep Red Eyes. A few are going to get caught going wide again. We're inside five furlongs. A pink day starts to head for home. On the outside of him is Mighty Stu Grey. Then Jackie Roo. One moving up on the inside is Run for Your Wives. Lives. A pink day still leads, but Run for Your Lives has got nowhere to go. But further out wide is Zover Strikes, who's got a free run. So it's Mighty Stu Grey and Zover Strikes start to pull away from a pink day. Here comes Mill on the Floss, and Run for Your Lives has got some room. But it's Zover Strike that heads into the tenth. They get over it. A much better jump by Mighty Stu Grey. Jumps himself into the lead. So it's Mighty Stu Grey that leads by a couple of lengths. Milona Floss is going to make the challenge as they approach the 11th with two left to jump. It's Mighty Stu Grey that leads by three to four to Milona Floss. Zover strikes. Gilda he's pulling away here. Mighty, oh, and he went through the top of it. Mighty Stu Grey is now challenged by Milona Floss. It's these two approaching the last. Mighty Stu Grey pulls away again. They get over it, but Milona Floss was fastest. They're on the flat. Half a furlong. Mighty Stu Grey just now he's in front. Mighty Stu Grey from Milona Floss. Milona Floss. Mighty Stu Grey. Mighty Stu Grey. Milona Floss. Together across the line and they finish well ahead of the rest if we lost anybody in those last couple of fences I apologise if I didn't call you let's look at this replay did Mighty Stu Grey hang on or Mill on the Floss <sighs> Mighty Stu Grey has been given it at the moment from Mill on the Floss and Gilda let's see uh, the final card just in case it was a lot closer than we imagine no, Mighty Stu Gray's got it for Port Rhodes. Well done. Wins by a short head from Mill on the Floss for Kevin Meanhan. Third was also Gilda for Kevin Meanhan. Fourth was Zover Strikes for Darren Thompson. And fifth, a pink day for Alex Cherry. So well done, Paul, with uh, Mighty Stu Gray. It's obviously name is uh, as good as it was. So we'll be moving on now to the next.